So on today's episode, I have a guest that has made me say I have seen truly what God can do. She is a testimony. And uh, for a long time growing up, I, I used to listen to her songs. I can sing them word by word. And I can't believe she is here with me on studio to share her testimony and her story. Wow. Without wasting much time, I will just uh, invite her so that she can introduce herself. Karibu sana. <laughs> I thought you sana kutana wewe. This is our first time meeting. Yes, yes. And I'm so honored. Wow. Tafadhali, jintroduce kwa wanya wana to watch. Uh, praise God, my name is Pastor Melody Ndichu. Um, kwa usani wana wita Melody Ndichu. Nime okoka. Na mpenda yesu sana kwa sababu ya kunihurumia na kunipatia wuko huburi. Um, I'm a gospel artist, I'm a minister in Divine Destiny Church, and also I'm a businesswoman. I'm a mother of three and married to one man, which is a male. <laughs> Good. <laughs> His name is uh, Mr. Ndichu. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you for having me. I'm so honored. You know, for, for a long time I've been thinking of having you on the show. Nashindwa ni tanzia wapi, but see God. Amen. I'm very, very humble. Amen. Now, uh, I will, we'll just get right on to your story. But before we get into it, mm. I would love to have a background of where you came from. Who is Melody? Where were you born? Yeah. yeah. Uh, her, my background is awesome. It's an awesome story. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, mostly uh, when you're brought up in a family, um, you see wealthy. Because mm-hmm. you bring up your name story, you uh, see wealthy, you see a gun, you see a number. Without understanding wealthy, ni ile kitu ambao na grow from inside. Mm-hmm. So to the talker, the talker kwa humble family. Mm-hmm. I'm a seventh born in a family of twelve. Twelve. Yes, seventh born in a family of twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my biological mother is late. Mm-hmm. My biological father is late. Oh. It's weird saying he's late because he's not coming and fresh. Oh. And um, uh, I have a step mom. Na ni na seven born ni kwambie kwa ni tuko tuko eleven so I'm mm. I'm seven born in a family of twelve. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my biological mom alikuwa na watoto nine mm-hmm. and then my step mom akapata watoto wawili okay. and then we adopted one. Uh-huh. So tukakuwa familia tukakuwa twelve. Mm-hmm. I was brought up I was born in um ushavu inaitwa Lenginet Nakuru. Lenginet. Lenginet Rongai Nakuru. Uh, so Rongai then, tunaelewa yes. kidogo. <laughs> Lengi <laughs> net rongai na kulu. Unajua kuna watu wanajua lengi net ni kambi ya moto na kuna wengine wanajua uh, ni rongai. Oh, okay. So kwa kwangu ku grow to grow to video ni mm. iko iko na uh, iko rongai na kulu. Mm. Uh, nilizaliwa lengi net nika nikalelewa lengi net to, to class 5. Mm-hmm. From class 5 ndio nika tukahama tukaenda mahali panaitwa Bahati. Mm-hmm. So kwa kwa kwangu kule kwa kujielewa kabisa nilikuwa mm. tuko Bahati. Okay. And then immediately after kutoka Bahati nao home yetu iko mahali panaitwa na mawanga. mawanga yes the famous mawanga the famous mawanga <laughs> At least you got out okay. uh, family by then my mm. dad was not a pastor yeah uh, he was an elder my mom alikuwa bado tu ni mshirika kanisani but alikuwa intercessor mm-hmm. uh, but later on my dad akakuwa pastor mm-hmm. 
and uh, the maisha yake akibidi akiaga alikuwa amefika mahali alikuwa president alikuwa assistant president and Oh. So ni me am um, a PK as you are. PK is in the house. <laughs> 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 eh eh. Eh na ku guru kwa ku kulikuwa kuzuri. Mm. Let, me, let me say this. Mm. I understand it now mm. that yale mapito tulipitia yeah. yalikuwa you know you know kuna kule kule watu wanasema Uh, ni ukukubwa kwangu huko Rozi mm. I understand ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wako na everything yes. lakini hawezi simulia kukuwa kwao because they eh, don't have peace they eh, don't have eh. but for us tulikuwa tunakula chapati Christmas oh, yeah. tulikuwa tuna you know but ile joy ilikuwa ga kwetu I remember mm-hmm. uh, there is a brother of mine that I love apostle Moses Musa yes. we used to kupiga drama ile siku ya chapati zinapigwa like tunatoka nje vibuyu kwa hiyo drama tu kwa nje hapo and that is the day of chapati yeah. we went to school barefooted mm. uh, nguo kupata nguo my friend mm. nakumbuka uniform kama yangu ilikuwa imepigwa kiraka mpaka ina hang hiyo mm. ina inaongezea nguo inaongezewa mm. but at the end of the day yeah. tulikuwa tunarudi home a mm. warm home yeah. home yetu ilikuwa na god mm. i remember hatungeenda kulala even the day that my mom mm. went to be with the lord mm. aliacha mtusomea bible verse wow. because aligonjeka usiku mm. so tume tuli bring up here in a let me say it was mm. it was a humble beginning mm. for us mm. lakini ilikuwa humble beginning that was full of god Amazing. and i thank god because Amazing. of that Amazing. amen so miss my uh, when you pastor's kid yes uh, before to inge kwa story yako mm-hmm. ni nini unapenda sana about kwa pastor's kid thank god ujaanza ya kujeni nimejua tu sasa lazima nianze kukuzuri aha Uh, uh, let me say this practically mm. when when my dad became a pastor mm. nilikuwa ndio ninatoka home mm-hmm. so sikuwa uh, lakini sasa kuna kuna ben, a lot of benefits about me enjoy mm. my dad akiwa pastor even the time that nilikuwa niko nje uh, hmm. there are places that have visited yeah. And uh uki mentioned you are a pastor's child uh-huh. like kuna venye una bebwa na uzito you know <laughs> una bebwa na uzito <laughs> and uh, there, was, there, there was this time my body nilikuwa nina nina safari mahali yeah. tukiwa airport uh-huh. and there was a woman of god who was in the kanisha na yeye mm. and uh tukiongeongea hivyo sijui mm. akataja mm. so it happened yeye ni bishop uh-huh. yeye ni mke wa bishop mm-hmm. mwenye aliordain my dad Oh wow. And like to kifanya introduction eh. what kila mtu alikuwa anasema this nimetoka for this company mm. blah 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 blah. Mm. So nikajua mimi hapa ile title niko nayo tu kubwa. First of all kwamba mimi ni eh. mtoto wa Reverend eh. Simon Kai. Nilipotaja eh. his woman of God alinichangia kila kitu everything wow. like alikuwa <laughs> ile place nilikuwa nilale. <laughs> It kept good you. <laughs> By that time I was not a pastor. Eh. By that time wacha niseme labda hata sikuwa nime, nimesikika nini. Eh. But hiyo tu my dad is a pastor. Mm. And there are a lot of things Rosita mm. ile yenye unaingia place hata kwa shule ukienda shule like hiyo pastor's kid kuna eh. vile wanakubeba mm. ukiingia uh, though au <laughs> jadiuliza <laughs> hiyo lakini kuna vile eh. tuna wanagoji yanga tukue you know eh. because you are a pastor's kid like you eh. supposed to expectations expectations zao mm. nile ni kama unaendanga heaven eh. after service sana unalala huko e unaka huko <laughs> so nime enjoy what let me say nime enjoy eh. nime enjoy hiyo 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 you know kuna vile nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu Kenyans mm. uh, mostly kuna wale watu ambao wa, they honor the servant of god yes so wakisikia wewe ni mtoto wa servant of god eh. there is a way they treat you mm. even if that man of god is not around yeah. kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wa man of god mm. eh kuna inchi ambazo ukisema you are mm. awachukuli like eh. you are just another child yeah. na sisemi hata kenya ni kila mtu ambaye mm. anabeba watoto wa chungaji vizuri yeah. lakini wale ambao wana understand the honor ambayo iko kwa man of god yeah. kuna vile wanatubebanga na uzito fulani unajua mm. ikisema hiyo understand like you enter a place mm. this is a daughter of mm. even if si so ni so anajulikana eh, eh. just a pastor eh. unaona vile wanakubeba wanakubeba na uzito so hiyo nimeenjoy ni manze okay. unaenda place unafika kwa event mm. Mm. mtoto wa pastor fulani mpaka eh. kala ya food manze unatolewa unarushu <laughs> mbele <laughs> new family <laughs> so kuna benefit nyingi sana <laughs> aya na, na disadvantage wa chat nzito hivyo at kasi hiyo hiyo exact <laughs> disadvantage ya kwanza ndio ambao nimesema eh. wa, wanakuwa kana expectations mm. ya sisi kuwa 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 kwa kamilifu ah. 
and uh, let me say this hiyo mm. kukamilika wana expecting mm. you know as as for me mm. uh, the testimony that is coming mm. i always tell people that mm. i used to ride on the grace of my dad oh. and um, for me kukubali yesu nilimkubali nikiwa mama wa watoto oh. kwa sababu nilikuwa niko nilikuwa nimegroia nime church ambayo mm-hmm. hata kubatizwa tulikuwa tunabatizwa mm. like mimi ni kama if i count like three times oh. kwa kwa mtoni because mimi mtoto wa pastor eh. expectation ya kila mtu ni huyo mm. ni muhonoku eh. you, you, you get huyu eh. ameokoka so lazima hata yeye abatizwe eh. hakukuwa eh. na ile follow up ya wewe mm. ulijua yesu waje eh. do you like are you getting me mm. so kuna ile ubaya wa wa isa idingine na kuanga watu wanaku wanakuangalia na ile macho ya holiness eh, eh, like you are not down. yes come mistake ufai ku make mistake ufai ku how far okay <laughs> Okay ni see ni kufanya hizo vitu zote zinasema eh, eh, but au bebabu kama mtoto wa wale watu wengine eh, like wana, wana expect wewe ukisikika mm, eh, uh, 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 let me say this msichana yeyote ambaye ni msichana wa mchungaji akapata mimba mm, eh, na msichana wa mshirika apate mimba msichana mm, wa mchungaji anabebwa ni kama malaika amepata mimba ukweli, ukweli. so hiyo hiyo ndio ilikuwa inafanya watu wengi wachukie mm, and then uh, mm, let, let, let me remember something tukiwa wadogo mm-hmm. i remember kwa pastors you know, men of god walikuwa watu wanatembea sana mm-hmm. and um, i remember mgeni yangekuja mm-hmm. watoto wa pastors wanakuaga um was squeeze ndio wana mtoto wa pastor utapata kuna room yake eh. mtoto wa pastor utapata labda wana la place moja mgeni anizalala sitting room eh. but by that time i remember tulikuwa tunatolewa wangu tunalala baka ugurua ikombe you know ikombe what is ikombe the store eh, the store. like the store sasa man zilikuwa eh, zina eh, zinatengenezwa hapa and then ziko na mwanya mm. and and i remember my sisters wangu wakubwa wakisema there's a time wageni mm. wangekuja mm. ungetolewa mwe you know pastors expectation ya watu yeah. kwa pastor pastor eh. anafaa ku host mm. anafaa kushughulikia and wale wa pastors wa zamani wa squeeze unajua wa squeeze wamechanuka eh, eh. wale pastors wa zamani ya kukuwa mm. na ile ungeona watoto wa wenyewe wakienda labda mahali pazuri wapelekwe mm. lakini watu pastors wa kazi yao ilikuwa ile kurithi ya modus <laughs> like 24/7 like wewe una concentrate eh, na kuchunga kondoo so watoto wa pastors unapata mm. time and i remember most of the pastors kid because unaona kama mimi nimekwambia nilikuwa nimeshakuwa eh, baba yangu ya kwa pastor eh. most of the pastors kid ambao ni my friends mm. ama age wetu wangu mm. most of them especially ladies mm-hmm. walikuwa wananiambia na melody we used to pray day and night miss yolewe na pastor Hey, because one thing wameonda. there was no presence of my father mm. baba yangu nilikuwa namuonaga usiku akiingia na asubuhi akitoka mm. second thing hata mm. tukiwa na hiyo pesa yote ulikuwa tunaona tukiwa na pesa we are driving mm. and everything mm. hatuko tunaenda out mm. out ilikuwa ni ya washirika mm. sisi watoto wa pasta tukionekana tukienda like swimming and mm. all that mm. so nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu pastors wa siku hizi mm. me being one of them mm. tume adjust mm. like i have a day to kupeleka watoto wangu out mm. niko na day ya kufanya vitu zingine na watoto wangu mm. at least wanaona mama mm. kwa round yeah. si concentrate sana na vitu zingine na kwa sababu we, we, we ought to preach in mini kwanza homes in homes mm. before to not preach wale watu wengi okay, okay. yes yes so hizo mambo zote nimezielewa <laughs> sana sana hiyo ya ukisema kwanza nikisema mimi ni mtoto wa apostle paul eh hey. hey, hadi bishop mark akanisalimia <laughs> jeo story jeo story i'm grateful <laughs> karibu hata nigeuke ni kwa mimi na kuhusu sana nikuulize na wewe challenge acha <laughs> <laughs> tutaendelea <laughs> So here yeah, you are. Yeah. Umesema umeolewa you have three kids. Yes. And uh you're celebrating is it 20 or 21 years in marriage? 21 years in in uh, in two weeks time. In two weeks time yes. 21 years. Yes. What is the best thing about marriage for you? Uh, Jesus, a lot of things. Mm-hmm. A lot of things. Mm-hmm. Um first of all, kuitanisha na mtu. Is this one thing my husband said? Yes. Um, because the, <laughs> as I continue I'll give you the story of how old I was yeah. I got married mm-hmm. so kuna hiki kitu ambayo inakuaga like we turn it you know for now Rosie you are still uh, in in your father's yes. you are called with your father's name yes now that I carry a surname that is not karaoke because my dad, mm-hmm. dad's name is karaoke mm-hmm. now I'm dishos mm-hmm. you know people I say I am melody dicho they think like dicho is my father he's uh, my father is my husband yes. and it is not only dicho or ile ya kusema tu ya kujiita iko mpaka kwa id mm-hmm. so kwangu mimi ni transfer kila kitu mm-hmm. ile kuitanishwa na mtu mm-hmm. and then you know that you know you know you know 
belonging to somebody. Yes. Belonging to somebody. Marriage mm. is one of the best things because Babu it's mm. it is it is the best sacrifice. Mm. But when you are thinking of marriage in love, it is beyond love. Mm -hmm. Like there is somebody that and a sacrifice because Babu Yang. Yes. Na mimi ni the sacrifice because Babu Yang. It is the mm. beauty of everything. Mm -hmm. It is beyond having children. Mm -hmm. It is beyond kukuwa tu na sema tukuna mtu na love mtu mm. later be. Mm. Yani kujua neza kuna mtu aneza ni sacrifice ya. Mm. And the beauty of it is because I'm born again. Mm. Just looking at the sacrifice that Jesus took for me. Yes. Now thinking there is another man here that is mm. sacrificing for me. Yeah, that wow. is the beauty of marriage for me. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Na ni challenge gani yenye unaanza ambia mtu mwenye anataka kuolewa kesho akuwe ready for challenge. Mm. Ah nikiwaambia leo tutamaliza utaniita. <laughs> utaniita na utaniita na utaniita. One thing that I want to tell you before I tell you about the challenges. Yes. Marriage works. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing that is missing on our blogs, yes. on our social media, yes. on everything. Everybody that is speaking nowadays, mm -hmm. they are speaking about mm -hmm. marriage is in a break. Squeeze what we can't do. Squeeze in the to jaribishe. Mimi ni kionge about 21 years, Rosie. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that sija kuwa na up and downs. Mm -hmm. Nime kuwa na up and downs. Mm -hmm. But ile kitu enye tulifanya, as mm -hmm. long as you're going to make Jesus the center of your marriage, mm -hmm. Regardless, niki kuambia zile zile vita tuko kana zo because everybody akona battle yake tofauti. Okay. Kuna mtu atainge usikie mm. zake zitakuwa ni za imlaws. Mm. Kuna mtu atainge usikie zake zitakuwa ni za pesa. Mm. Kuna mtu, you know, yes. kuna watu ambao kila mtu anapata battle zake tofauti. Mm. Lakini battle zote za marriage mm. ni kama zinenanga kufanana zote. Mm. Lakini ile kitu inafanyaga tu overcome hizo battle zote ni ile siku nyetu tutafanya Jesus akuwe ndio the center of everything. Wow. When I'm saying the center, mm. um, before we take our issue mm -hmm to to the person because unajua mkifanya harusi mnaambia ngwa mm. kabla uende kwa kwa rosi uende kwa kwa apostle paul mm. your marito parents yeah. before you even go to your marito parents yes. when you kneel down the both of you you mm. take it to jesus mm. you will find that you are 20 years without telling the the the, the wow. parent or the, the, the you know the mm. marito parents yes. that we have an issue mm. but mtu ambaye anaingia kwa marriage first of all Entering a marriage thinking that your marriage will be like melodies, mm. you are wasting your time. Every marriage is unique. Every marriage is unique. Now, si dango nyo na mtu ata kwa familia, mm. even if your your sisters, all your sisters, mm. you are the seventh sister, mm. and all your sisters want to have a break. Yours is very unique. Yes. Na mungu wakitengeneza ile siku alianza institution ya marriage, mm. because yendi alianza institution ya marriage, yes. alianza yako ikuwa yako. So edo kajari, when you are yao imeisha yote, mm. oh, even your mother, kama your, ma, your mom is a single mother, mm. yake ilikuwe ya mama yako. Mm. So enter your marriage, ukijua yangu ni yangu, na God had created you unique, and then to singie, mm. nisikute ni letter of kingine hapa, <laughs> to singie kwa marriage, especially girls, with high expectations, <laughs> how God is going to bring that man, or mm. bring that, that, that lady, mm. mbebe venye hako, usitamani wale, because nowadays I meet, I am I'm also a youth pastor, yes. and, and most of the time, na meet na watu wanaza, mm. mom, Unajua sisi summer boys were squeezy, they are not mature. Mm. I married my own without maturity. I matured him on the way. Mimi nilikuwa siko machua. Eh. Don't go running for another man, mm. another uh, woman's husband. Mm. Ukisema yeye ndiye amemachua. Anza na wako jani. Hivyo wow. tu mkienda hivyo mnaona mm. mkimachua. Mpelekane mpembeni pamoja. Pamoja alafu mtafika mali ndio unajua sasa. Haya. Kumbe wewe alikuwa kwe mzima hivi eh. <laughs> Are you getting me? Hey, tukianza tulikuwa hivyo hivyo. Yes, yes. Because wasana wengi squeeze, mm -hmm. that is why unasikia watu wakuna sponsor. Eh. Si sponsor juu ya pesa. Mm -hmm. When you sure listen to, to most girls, mm -hmm. unasikia mtu wanasema, uu chali, mm -hmm. ani understanding, eh. ni maturity. Mm -hmm. And watu wengine wapata wengine wawo, ni kama wawo, unasikia wengine hawa kuna time ya baba yao. Oh. Hawa kupata love from eh. their fathers. Eh. So, wana miss, wakienda kutafta love, wanapata mm -hmm. wale vijana wenye, anaanza na yeye ndio ana practice mm. so anatafuta ya mbaba unapata ali mm. sponsor mm. and then all of us we are judging them that mm. when they are sponsor lakini mm. ni kubreaki wa breaki wa hat to a next and wanaenda kutafuta their fathers in this in this, in this old man so unapata huyu akikwambia unaanza ku... na ndio maana nimesema mm. ukitafuta rozi sasa mm. unatafuta you want to look for that man that mkianza mm. it is in, in fact it is very beautiful saying that the husband of my youth yes it is very beautiful say the husband of mudianza na yeye akiwa yeye ni youth eh na wewe ukiwa youth i'm i'm not trying to disqualify wale watu because kuna watu ambao wana, wana i have friends ambao wameolewa na watu ambao wame wamefisha wake wao like mm. widowers oh. kuna kuna watu ambao lakini mm. wale ambao wanataka kuolewa na watu mm. yao olewa mm. na mtu yao mm. anza na yeye life Anze ni mkuwe na jani. Sese ni kiaungea mambo ya 21 years. Mm. My beautiful jani. Mm. Ili kuwa na ile utoto ya kwanza. Ile mm. utoto ya kulia haja fika home. Ile utoto. You know those, <laughs> those utoto. Yes. 
those two serious utoto utoto it is beautiful now uh, i narrate to my daughters because my, my daughters wa mekuwa kubwa and wana wanaona ina car beautiful i tell them about when tulikuwa tuna tuna, tuna date ina car beautiful but you running to that man that one time utakuwa utakuwa yeye alikuwa you are pain killer i had i had a man of god say that girls want to me squeeze kukuwa pain killer ya marriage so ile sajili ya kwa na stress anakuwa wewe unakuja unakuwa pain killer and as young as you are unakuwa pain killer ya mtu ile siku unajirealize you have wasted your years you have wasted your time afadhali wanze na pain killer mwenyewe mwanze na yeye huyo mjana akuwe pain killer atenda hivyo atoke panado headaches afike mahali akuwa atakuwa yes i end your kutuliza my god tumesikia wow mimi kama mmoja wao nimesikia thank god so here you are a testimony big big testimony Amen. i've had your story briefly and your t- the highlight of your story is you are healed mm-hmm. from hiv and aids yes yes let's get into that how uh, how did that journey begin that journey <laughs> um I, w- i will go back to dogo mm-hmm. after to to me wana okay um god blessed us with a with a with a beautiful baby girl our first born mm-hmm. who is 20 now wow and um tulipokuwa alipokuwa like one and a half mm-hmm. one and a half almost two mm-hmm. tukawa kuna there is something that il sababisha to hame from nyahururu mm-hmm. we we got married in nyahururu okay So kuna kitu ambacho kilisababisha tutoke Nyahururu mm. tukuje Nairobi. Mm-hmm. And at that time tuli tuli tulikuwa tunapitia hardships ambazo zinakuta kila mtu ndio maana nimesema mm. kila ndoa ina, ina hardship zake. Okay. Lakini kwa hardship between me and my husband kwa financially mm. because fa- first thing tulikuwa tunaishi vizuri mm. kabisa yani ile nilipata mume wangu amejitengeneza. Ame, ame mm. Hata kama tulikuwa na ule 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 ujana maana because he was he was I guess he was is it three three years older mm. either three no five years ako five years older than me mm. lakini tulikuwa watoto mm. eh, sitakwambia hesabu kwa sababu utafanya baina za hii <laughs> tulikuwa tuko wadogo lakini ngoja <laughs> lakini huo utoto wetu hata kama tulikuwa na utoto wetu mm. Mungu alitusaidia and and when we began our family mm-hmm. I I always tell people um kule kukuwa pastor's kid ama kukuwa mtoto ambaye amelelewa kwa nyumba ya Mungu mm. ilikuwa inanisaidia sana even if tulikuwa tunafanya I I remember that time I used to be a dancer I used to mm. be a lingala dancer I used oh, to dance very very well and I kwa lingala wanatoka wao walikuwa ya kanisa Mimi kwa kwa sijui tairis na kuna kuru sijui wapi sijui F1 sijui wapi and and all that time nakumbuka with my husband yeah. even if tulikuwa tu, we used to club we used to like in, zile raha ambazo oh, okay. wanini wanafanya mm. one thing that we used to do that was totally different from our nini ilikuwa we used to pray together mm-hmm. like kila kitu iki happen mm. one thing ambayo ilikuwa inatu, inatusaidia ni eti tulikuwa tunashikanaga mikono na tunaomba mm. now tumepata mtoto wa pili huyu wa kwanza nimepata mm-hmm. mtoto wa kwanza mm-hmm. and then kukakuwa na kitu ambayo ilisababisha mume wangu atoke nyahuru atoke nyahuru akuje Nairobi okay. at the same time mm-hmm. i visited my ushago mm-hmm. tukaibiwa vitu wow. the things ambazo tulikuwa tunakaa very big house mm-hmm. kila kitu kaibiwa mm-hmm. walipoiba vitu waliba vitu vi, ambavyo you know zile vitu ambazo zina 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 zina, zina value mm-hmm. vitu ambazo zingetoka ni coaches like this one because mm-hmm. awangepitia kwa mlango na commercial usiku mm-hmm. And then immediately after after to to maybe wa mm-hmm. asi ku make report police mm-hmm. wale watu ambao walikuwa wamekopesha mme wangu pesa mm-hmm. because you know ukipopesha pesa mm-hmm. lazima security tunaandika kile kitu tunacho kwa nyumbani mm-hmm. immediately waka notice my husband ameka two weeks hawajamuona na mm-hmm. hiyo time hakukua mm-hmm. ndio alikuwa na mobile my friend konde huko ya kombele sana so that time after hivyo hivyo vitu vimeendelea hivyo mm-hmm. waka realize huyu jamaa tujamuona wakasema kuja kukuja kwangu mm-hmm. zile vitu kwa tumeandika zote security mm-hmm. beautiful thing like fridges like mm. what like mm. cookers and hizo zote ndio zilibiwa oh. so kwao lazima wangeona hii ni story ambayo tumbe create mm. ni kwa sababu tunataka kutoroka sasa zile vitu zilikuwa zimebaki rozi tukachotwa zote oh. and you know kwa, kwa nini ya ile ile tujui ni rule ama ni nini wanasemaga mm. haufai kunyaganywa matres ama kitanda oh, yeah. unafaa kuchotwa kila kitu lazima uachie waolibeba mpaka koti ya mtoto 
kwa sababu waliona zile vitu tuliandika security hakuna mm. kitu iko mm. wakaona zile ambazo wamepata hizo ni wakanibeba mpaka vitu ilikuwa nimeekea mpaka dada yangu za, zake za nyumbani mm. so hii time yote tulikuwa kwa ile but without us understanding what mm. was happening mm-hmm. so tumehama tumetoka Nairobi mm. ah, nyahuru tumekuja Nairobi mm-hmm. kuja Nairobi we were hosted mm-hmm. for almost three months wow. by our brother in law mm-hmm. brother in law ame to host hiyo time ame to host mm-hmm. tumeka in a place about to, let me say self confused because tulikuwa <laughs> two families in one room like Why? one you know zile rooms zinakuwa kubwa alafu zinagawanishwa na na kati na, na kati ala yeah. akatu host mhm alipo to host hiyo time mm-hmm. ndio nilianza kujua ni, ni, ni kujielewa sisi vizuri mm-hmm. ndio maana nimekurudisha nyuma sasa ni understand okay. nimeanza kuonjeka na siko kwangu mm-hmm. i am hosted in somebody's house mm-hmm. nimeanza ku develop na sikia si uko sawa mm-hmm. nikaenda hospitali ambayo iko banana inaitwa karoli hospital mm-hmm. Ndipo fika Royal Hospital ndio daktari alipolipima mm. and then akaniuliza the akaniuliza the jani yangu ya 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 kutumia zile dawa za kupanga uzazi mm. and nilipomwambia nikamwambia nilikuwa natumia kitu inaitwa tikopa mm-hmm. akaniambia ina wakiangalia kwenye wakis, wakiskan tumbo mm-hmm. yangu wanaona mm-hmm. bali tikopa ilikuwa wanaiona mm-hmm. and then nilipotolewa ni kama ilinigwara oh. So kwa wanasema Melody hapo mm. sandi wanalipatia news ya kuniambia Melody you pregnant mm. and uh, above who are pregnant mm. inaonekana hapo mali uliguaro ni kama mm. saa zile mtoto ana grow mm. ndio ina hiyo kidonda ndio mtoto ana you know mm. mtoto ana finya mm. alafu sasa ndio inafanya una leak ndio maana uko na uchu So for me mm. to take hiyo ndio the reason nilikuwa nafanya ni kuwa mgonjwa mm. but as days zilikuwa zinaenda yes uh, nikaendelea kukua ninakuwa weak mm and then nina mtoto venye na grow ndio nakuwa weak ndio nina konda mm. ndio ninaanza kutan ngozi yangu ikaanza kutan ikaanza kukuwa pill ikaanza ku like na pill mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, imefika saa moment ya sisi kuhama from from na, na from now banana mm-hmm. tulikuwa na shit banana place inaitwa rain mm-hmm. na saa tujikaishe sisi kama mm-hmm. saa with my family yes. and then we, we relocated from there to to get the right 45 mm-hmm. sasa hapa rozi tumeingia kasa kwa nyumba sasa hata ndio sijui kana self conscious maana hata ni kadogo mm-hmm. Kenya kana toshia mattress peke yake wow. mattress na you know one two three mtungis mm-hmm. and, and the stove and that mm-hmm. and now hi once ongalie mind yangu kwanza ime ime, ime hata kabla sijajua Kenya ni kinanisumbua mm. mind yangu kwanza ilikuwa imegongeka sana na mmechotwa mm. ulikuwa msichana huyu mwenye ameolewa jamaa amejiweza kila kitu umefanya alafu mmechotwa kila kitu umeanza mm. one i remember my daughter mm. by then she was two years mm-hmm. my daughter alikuwa na tunamaliza kukula like anameleza kula banana mm. analia unajua zile zile plotis na kuaga ka, ka, ka room kamoja and then kakona mlango mwingine mm. anakongojwa sasa oh. so ana knock hiyo mlango anataka kufungua peleke hiyo hiyo banana peel kwa dustbin kwa kitchen mm. namwambia ndio hiyo dustbin na pana kitchen mm. because alikuwa amezoea yeah, oh, kuna kitchen kuna aya so ilikuwa yeah, life yeah. in it kabla tu just na kumbuka nilikuwa na safanga mtoto wangu akifungua mlango watu waone kwangu vile kuna kana ai huyo ikakuwa ni kitu i am young you to see me happen kwa life yangu vitu sikuwa na expect mm. but i thank god for my husband because alikuwa yeye yeah, alikuwa very positive mm. alikuwa ananiambia sweet ah oh jali sina doubt tulikuwa nazo sisi tarudi tu but mm-hmm. in the in the process nikaendelea rozi nimegonjeka kabisa yes nikaenda hata kwenda Kenyatta because mm-hmm. wale walikuwa wamenitimu wakaniambia hii kesi yako labda uende Kenyatta mm-hmm. so nimeanza kwenda Kenyatta mm-hmm. wamenitibu wamenipa na dawa mm-hmm. hawajaniambia shida yangu ni nini umepoa tu medication umepoa tu medication ikafika mahali mm-hmm. the ninagonjeka mpaka naenda ward C ile Kenyatta ward C 3 C 3D I can't remember very well lakini ni either C or D. Mm-hmm. Napelekwa my husband ndio ikafika mahali alafu sasa ananibeba. Mm-hmm. So I want you to see this journey. And the more nina grow mm-hmm. the more is siku zinaenda the more mimba yangu ina eh. inaendelea kukua. Eh. So ikiwa mimba ikiwa kama 4 months mm-hmm. nikakuwa niko mahututi mm-hmm. ile mahututi yenye siwezi jipeleka cho mm-hmm. lazima nipelekwe. Mm-hmm. Uh, siwezi fanya anything ile zile vitu za nyumbani like mm-hmm. my husband akinieta mali ya miacha hapo mm-hmm. ndio atanipata jioni. Mm-hmm. And then ikakuwa nimekuwa mzigo kwa watu mm-hmm. to an extent what was in idea in mm-hmm. that short time mm-hmm. ambao nimekuwa mgonjwa hivyo kuna watu ambao tayari walikuwa wamechoka mm-hmm. and remember this is a new estate ambayo tumeingia so hatujui mtu. Uh, ikafika mahali daktari I remember this this doctor ambaye alikuwa let me not mention his name yeah. akaambia my husband mm-hmm. uh, melody kesi yake tumeshindwa mm-hmm. and uh, mind you Kenyatta is the biggest hospital in East Africa yes. so mtu akikwambia kesi yako imeshindikana either umpeleke India um, lakini mtu akiambia Kenyatta ni hivyo so my husband akamuuliza unataka tufanyeje mm. na, 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 na before hiyo ifike mm-hmm. kuna wakati walikuwa wameambia my husband I choose between mimi na mtoto nani atasaid kwa zile oh, kesi yenye niko nayo walikuwa wanamwambia mm. you might lose both 
wakienda kufika mm. wakati wa kuzaa. Mm. So my husband akamwambia vizuri, I remember my husband was not born again lakini alimwambia akamwambia wife yangu na mtoto hakuna mtu mwenye atakufa wow. na wote watasurvive watakuwa wako sawa. Mm. Tulipotoka hiyo siku hospitali nakumbuka akiambiwa nipeleke nyumbani. Mm. Alinipeleka nyumbani akaniuliza tukiwa kwa wako kwa nyumba na nani nitakupeleka wapi maana already nimekurashiri. Mm. There is no way naweza kupeleka home kwe, mm. kwe, kwenu yeah. wazazi wako wakutekie care. Mm. Akaniambia nitakupelekea mama nao mama yake mm. ushago ni huru. Okay. And then akanipeleka ushago. Mm. Because now Rosie mm-hmm. this man my husband mm. ananitekia care mtu ambaye haizi dipeleka mpaka chooni. Mm. Secondly yeah. and lazima aende afanye biashara ndio tupate kipato. Eh. And by that time kwa sababu hapo ilikuwa imeharibika alikuwa hoka Nairobi. Oh. So lazima hoka. Mm. Uyu mtoto ako 2 years ajaingia mpaka shule. Mm. Uyu mtoto lazima ashughulikiwe. Mm. And uh, I say this every time that uh, my daughter and I remember we, we talked about firstborn. Mm. My daughter had were responsible by fire by force at 2 years. Wow. <laughs> kwa sababu eh. lazima angeji serve, eh. lazima angeji eh. endea, lazima yeah. angeji enda cho. Eh. Siezi amka nene unajua mtoto at that age ndio unamfunza kwenda kukalia poti eh. au hakuna kitu ningemfanyia ni mm. mm. mwenyewe. Mm. So my husband akona ni vizuri alipeleke kwa ushago kwa sababu mm. sama alipimefika. Mm. And I remember the moment I entered that village. Mm. Kwa sababu ndikomba kanimenyolewa nyewe. Mm. Everybody was like oh you know kwa rakwa kila mtu alikuwa anaona kifo yangu mm. and people will mention anakaa kwa na ukimwi my mother in law akanitekea kia vizuri mm. akani akani alikuwa ananipikia vitu tunaitanga uh, the fight and the fight and hizo vitu wala ni boilia hizo ni na kunywa vitu na remember that time nilikuwa natapika mm. so hakuna kitu ningekunywa ninge ikae kwa mm-hmm. nilikuwa na under medication ninatapika so whatever ningeingisha kwa tumbo hata hiyo medication mm. ilikuwa natapika mm. so gile kitu nilikuwa nafanya ni take ni take long mm. ku recover yeah. ni kwa sababu dawa zikai kwa tumbo mm. and um, mama aliponitunza like three weeks mm-hmm. ikawa lazima nirudi Nairobi kwa sababu muda ulikuwa umeenda mimba ilikuwa karibu miezi sita. Mm. so lazima ningerudi kwa ndio nikuja nifanye ile antenatal clinic yes ni karudi Nairobi mm. I thank God for my mother in love kwa sababu at mm. your short time ilikuwa mm. imenisaidia mm. ngozi yangu hata kama bado ilikuwa ime imenilichipuka ime lakini haikuwa that pale mm-hmm. at least nilikuwa nimerudisha nimerudisha ile strength mm. bo i was still castled as slender mm. lakini nilikuwa nimerudisha nimerudisha mwili mm-hmm. nimerudisha strength okay. so niliporudi Nairobi uh, ikawa tha- i must go for antenatal clinic mm-hmm. my husband akanipeleka mpaka St Francis ya hapo ya mm-hmm. Tukasarani mm-hmm. akanifikisha kwa kwa gate kwa sababu lazima ile tu kwa sababu ya security na nini vile nilikuwa naanguka hivi mm. lazima angenipeleka so amenifikisha hospitali mm-hmm. nimeingia nimefanywa check up mm-hmm. zote ambazo mtu anafanywa ukiwa mjamzito mm-hmm. and then now i am seated with nas emily i mention her name because that woman is mm-hmm. is a great woman wow. tumekatu na yeye chini na mm-hmm. sakanyambia you know mm-hmm. everything else is very okay yes your blood group nini 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 mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. lakini kuna shida moja akanambia kuna Do you do you have any nini yote ambao umekuwa recently mambo kwa mgonjwa hapana mm-hmm. and you know sasa vile nilikuwa nakaa ngozi yani mm-hmm. ndio ndio chochote mm-hmm. lakini hapa kuna shida mm-hmm. ya HIV positive right i it, 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 kwangu ilikuwa funny mm-hmm. ipo venye niwecheka na mm-hmm. kwa sababu niliona si siyezekani ye, nimestuka yani ndani yangu lakini hiyo mm-hmm. kucheka na cheka ni ile mm-hmm. ni kama yeye amekosea hizi resort zinakaza mtu mwingine. Eh. And if I'm not wrong, mm. nilimwambia rudia tena. And you know sasa hawa ukifika kwa mjamzito si kama mtu ambaye yuko wa kawaida, lazima eh. afanye hivyo ndio akukuruvie mm. because wanataka bado kusema ule mtoto yuko ndani ya tumbo. Mm. Akaanza kuniambia vitu nyingi sana at that time mm. ambazo hata siku anaelewa akijaribu kuniambia mambo ya kujionyesha mtoto ukitaka kujionyesha mm. siku ana understand. Mm-hmm. Nilimwambia tu set mate moja nikamwambia mm. wewe au understand vile unasema mimi si mgonjwa lakini kesho nakuja hapa na my husband tukimwe tena kwa sababu wewe wa mm. so i went back home yeah. with a lot of anger mm-hmm. a lot of anger nilikuwa naona huyu mama ni kama haelewi and then naona kama ni kuota na kuota kwa sababu there are things ambazo mtaka kabisa hizi ni hapenia mm. vile madrafiki yangu unaona hizi vitu zina kuna wale watu ambao zimetengenezwa mm. lakini sio mm. so i went back home my husband came and uh, alipotoka kazini na in fact mm-hmm. in fact kama sikose maybe piga simu mm-hmm. yusko alikuwa na katulusi mm. <laughs> piga simu nikamwambia eh. ukuja mapema sana niko na report so kwake yakija alikuja because mm. amepewa hiyo report ya boyo so mm. alifika mapema kuliko kawaida mm. afika nikamwambia nimeambiwa hivi na hivi mm-hmm. and then my husband with all calmness mm. akaniambia mm. sweet nimetoka juzi kupimwa mm. ni jana manijuzi akanitolea mm. mpaka karatasi fulani 
Anamwe ni nene tukaenda kwa donate ni ni dawa. Mm-hmm. Na nilipoenda kupimwa hakuna kitu mimi ni nini yangu inaonekana nilikuwa ne. Mm-hmm. Nikamwambia acha hiyo ni uongo you know. Mm-hmm. Hiyo ni uongo. Mm-hmm. Niko tu na ukali wangu ule wa si understand kile kina happen. Mm-hmm. So tumemaliza usiku huo tumeingia the following day mm-hmm. that early morning. Yes. I went back with my husband mm-hmm. and sasa tukaongezea mpaka my daughter because mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunataka nijue chanzo mm-hmm. cha ugonjwa huu kama ilikuwa yeah. before yeah. we got our first born. Mm-hmm. So tulipoenda si wote. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shoki kakuja hii. Mimi nikakuwa niko positive mm-hmm. and then the, my husband and my daughter they were both negative. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you we tested twice ile ni mpaka kabisa naona nilifika mahali mpaka nikaanza kutokesha watu kabisa naona hawa watu wanafanya kazi vizuri mmm kwa hivyo sema hivyo rozi nikanyenyeke mmm nikasasa kuanza kwa hivyo hiyo time yote nimekuwa niko msika mmm nilikuwa niko na HIV mmm and then the funny thing yes. this hospital Kenyatta hospital mm. walikuwa wamenipatia ARVs nilikuwa nakunywa ARVs without me understanding oh. ni ARVs ambazo ni dawa za ukimwi ile medication ambayo yeah. eh, walinipatia kwa sababu nilipoenda ushago mm. after nime, mama amenipatia nini kaza kutapika na nini nilikuwa nimezikoma mm. lakini hapa vile nimepimwa mm. alafu huyu huyu madam akaza kunitea dawa akaniambia kuna dawa hapo utakunywa hapo mm. ni wakani explainia vizuri akamwambia mume wangu eh, kuna dawa anaweza choose hapa between mm. ile kunywa kama atataka kunyonyesha mtoto ama mm. atataka kuzaa kiwa mm. aki, aki, akose kumnyonyesha and for me because nilikuwa nisha breastfeed my my first born mm. i know the, the joy ya ku breastfeed mtoto nika choose and then the stigma was like mm-hmm. niki kosa kunyonyesha mtoto anyonyesha fast bone mm-hmm. watasema nini ni melody amefanya mm-hmm. so nika choose ile kukunywa dawa hiyo ndio iende yoshe maziwa mm-hmm. alafu mtoto wangu ni mnyonyesha mm-hmm. so to cut the story short we are we are going back home mm-hmm. and by my nini ko cuz my husband is one thing at the same back mm-hmm. kiwa kiwa hospital mm-hmm. akambia huyu nasa kama kudia mm-hmm. my wife is very faithful and for him to confess that i don't know nini nimshika akasema my wife is very faithful right. kwa hivyo hii kitu vile ikuja kwa mwili yake mm-hmm. hivyo hivyo ndio itatoka god ndio anajua lakini hivyo hivyo ndio itatoka so for me nikafikiri huyu jamaa na stay dark hapa <laughs> tukienda home <laughs> tukienda home akuwe another oh, person boy. so tumefika home mm. zile tumekuja tukibai vitu huko barabara nini nini amekuja tumefika home mm. ameanza kuosha osha vitu huko mm. amepika mm. and i'm like huyu ana pretend hawa anataka kujikia sumu you know unajua zile ile ya mwanadamu tu vile nawaza kwa nini anakuwa mzuri wakati ambao nimeambiwa niko na niko hivi badala ya kwenda atanikemea ama kuniambia so tulipofika ni wakati wa kula mpaka nikakasirika nikamwambia sweet ndio huko kwa nini ya unikasiriki akaniambia tu vile akaniambia vile tu msemo hospitali mimi najua wewe ni faithful zaidi ya kukupenda vile na kupenda najua wewe ni faithful so hii kitu hata kama ilikuja ilikuja kwa njia nyingine sio ndio yenyewe unafikiria unajua kuna mtu kuna vile anafikiria and rosita being 17 years ago that time ile ni ile siku nilikuwa nasikia hata mtu wako anasemanga HIV ama ukimwi especially wakiwa walikuwa nasemanga monyamu hakuna mtu ange mention hiyo jina ilikuwa kama abomination in fact corona hata ijasua watu kama vile HIV ilikuwa by that time so akaniambia akaniambia vizuri akaniambia mimi sitaki kujua ilikuja ikapitia wapi ile kitu yenye understand your faith and i will stand with you like i will stand with you i will walk with you mpaka ile siku Mungu ataondoa hii kitu sasa ikawa usiku nimelala na amka now ika hii story ya kuambiwa hospitali am HIV positive and then realizing dawa ambazo nimepatiwa ni zile dawa ambazo nilikuwa nakunywa ikakuja sasa ikaniletea self stigmatization ile ilikuwa saa mbaya zaidi nikaanza kuimagine kwa hivyo watu wakiniangalia barabarani walikuwa already wamesha understand niko HIV nikaanza mm-hmm. kufikiria kwa hivyo vile watu walikuwa wanasema ushago simekwambia ushago hey. ukifika unasikia mpaka wa mama wakiongea wakiongelesha madiko na hata ta mudo we na mukigo you understand yes. so nikaanza kuimagine watu walikuwa wameshajua mm-hmm. mimi ndio sikuwa na understand hiyo kitu gozi ikanikula nikakuwa mgonjwa kwa hisi ya vile nilikuwa mwanzo sasa nikakuwa mgonjwa zaidi mm-hmm. hii times sasa ikawa ndio tena pesa zimeisha zaidi kwa sababu sasa medication mm-hmm. tunapewa kena watu wanapewa sana yeah. lakini hii medication lazima kule matunda lakini lazima ukule balance diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hii pesa haipatikani ya kukula hizi vitu ambazo watu wanasema dawa. Matunda kuna nakumbuka kuna special fruits nilikuwa nakula kama mm. apple mm. like watermelon mm. kuna zile nilikuwa nimeandika huo dasa alikuwa ameniandikia tu vitu zinakaa tu pesa. Mm. Grapes okay. zinapatikana wapi hizo mtafa yenye una. Ikafika mahali mm-hmm. my husband ikakuwa ni, ni routine yenye sasa afadhali abai ka grape katembo. Mm. Lakini una hizo pesa zote zinatumika zinatumika kwa sababu yeye anataka ni kuwe better. Mm. Journey went on went on ikafika mahali nikakuwa sasa was ile yenye mm. siendi cho ile yenye niko mwisho. Mm. And I remember that time my husband akaniambia 
there's one morning aliambia kanambia nilisikia mtu ushago ya hururu mm. there's a lady ambaye alitestify in deliverance ya hururu mm. church deliverance church ya hururu mm-hmm. akasema alikuja Nairobi akaombewa mm. in a such in such a church mm. ambayo iko place fulani mm-hmm. si tunaweza hata si tuone kama Mungu atatuponya mm-hmm. and for me mm-hmm. nikakata story sitaki kwa ah, niambia tutaenda mm-hmm. mimi ndio nilimwambia about you god wa baba yangu mm-hmm. lakini sasa mimi ndio nakaka kama mimi mwenye siamini mm-hmm. because rozi wakati unaambia uko HIV yeah. third time yeah. ulikuwa unaona kaburi yako unaweza kuimagine mazishi itakuwaje oh. unajiona kwa paper bag hiyo time yenye ulikuwa unasikia mtu anapeleka ushago na paper bag mm-hmm. yani nilikuwa nimeanza kuiona But I thank God because of that seed that my father planted in me. There was still that mustard seed cafe mm. ikalikuwa ndani yangu. Mm. But nilikuwa nasikia Mungu anaweza tenda. Mm. But this this one day that mm. my husband left. Mm-hmm. Mtoto wangu akakuwa yeye ndio ananiserve maji. Mm-hmm. Alipoenda kuniwekea maji with a 5 liter gel can mm-hmm. akaiweka kuweka kwa kikombe mm-hmm. ikaanguka. Mm-hmm. So kabla You know mtoto akifanya makosa anastuka kabla mm. aniangalie kama nita react mm. nitafanya nini mm. maji kawa imemwagika imekuja kwa mattress mko mimi nilipokuwa nalia mattress mm. maji lipokuja kwa mattress mm. mtoto saa kilift kibuyu ilikuwa imeshamwagika yote mm. kale kalibaki ndio nyenyeke ni kunywa nayo dawa mm. now the problem was singe toka kwa hiyo mattress nijitoe nje neighbors already immediate wacha nikwambie rozi shetani ni mbaya sana kwa sababu anahubiri yanga mtu negativity mm. akishajua na ndio maana wasikenga watu wengi mtu anaweza kaa na kansa for a very long time yes. lakini the moment atajua mm. because of that hiyo hiyo voice ya shetani ya fear mm. kukuambia kwamba unakufa hiyo mm. voice ndio inafanyaga watu wanakufa okay. sasa hapa nilikuwa nishaona hata waambira ni wote wamejua mm. hata wenye ninaita kwa zilikuwa imefika mahali rozi nimefika mm. niko na nina, nina ufundo ambao si mzuri mm. au do ime change mm. because the medication attacks kulikuwa mm. niko si, sipendeki mm. shetani alikuwa ameleta rejection ambayo ilikuwa ya majirani so hapa nilipoanguka kwa kwa maji haya mm. there was nobody to take me out of that mattress nilika kwa hiyo maji the whole day hapo na uchungu wangu that day ndio nilikuwa nilikasirika nilikuwa mm. nasika na uliza mungu kwa nini uniugi mm. kwa nini kwa jeni pitia mateso yote napitia mm. alafu tena nipate nipate mtoto wa HIV nitaishi na hii stigma Oh. And I remember with 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 ile mentality ya mtu tu ya kawaida nikaambia Mungu nataka uniue niko tayari. Mm. Nikaambia my daughter I end a chase nikambatia rusa. Na by that time mtu tu alikuwa nimemfungia hata siku anataka aende kwa mtu mm. because ilikuwa inaka naona kama watu watam vile wana mm. ni reject ni kama wata reject mtoto wangu. Mm. Nikamwambia aende ucheze na kinalizi nje. Mm. Alafu mimi ni back. So vile nilisema ni back nilikuwa naambia Mungu nataka saa uniue. Mm. And then nika make a confession <laughs> ati Mungu nikiamka mm. which the understand kuamka ni kumaliza tamka <laughs> nipate nimekufa so nilikuwa na, naambia Mungu anifanye ni miscarriage huyu mtoto wangu mm. si, nilikuwa najua one thing yeah. is uh-huh. vile nime bring up in charge mm. ya kwamba niki mtoto waki mtu akijua awendi mbinguni mm-hmm. so siku anataka ku commit suicide yeah. but nilikuwa nimepanga mimi mm. mwenyewe Mungu animalize like mm. ni miscarriage mm. nilikuwa najua vile niko very weak mm. mtoto angetoka tu hivi mm. hata mimi nakufa so nilikuwa niko ready na nikalala niko ready na niambia Mungu sasa unichukue Mm. Nika make sure nimelala kumbe ni lala ile wana wana nilala kuamka nilipata tu niko hapo kwa hiyo maji kwa kila kitu and that is the time that i made a covenant with god and wow. i told god mm-hmm. i have heard of my fathers and and msio baba yangu tu baba mm. wa kiroho wa baba yangu mm. nimesikia wakiongea kuhusu huyu Mungu alikuwa anaponya mm. and i've heard about a woman that waited on the or, uh, waited for 12 years aki akitokwa na damu mm. a man that waited on the well for 30 years mm. hizo zote nimesikia mm. kwa nini hata mimi usinifanyie tu and i make a promise i told god ukiniponya mm. hata iko ile prayer unasikia ya kudia niko mm. na muongelesha sasa vile kama vile tuongee vile kama naongelesha one on one mm. ukiniponya the first thing i will do mm. i will serve you for the rest of my life the second thing i would do ni ta testify imagine you siku nisikia ukimwi ukisema uki lakini mm. kwa niko ready naambia mungu niko ready ukinipoja tu nita testify mm. and it was it was just a, a innocent prayer from a person mwenye alikuwa amefika mwisho that needed god mm-hmm. without understanding mm-hmm. that my deliverance ilianza immediately after nimeomba because the following the same same week is mm-hmm. the week that we went for we went for 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 that that service okay. ambao nilikutana nili na Mungu mm-hmm. and i remember we took nini atuko na fear mm-hmm. tukashukishwa barabarani mm-hmm. we walked for a very long time church ilikuwa wapi okay. ilikuwa rwaraka yeah. ilikuwa ilikuwa lazima ungefika in it all sorts mm-hmm. ungefika all sorts tena mm-hmm. utembee mpaka kwa junction ya 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 nini ilikuwa inaitwa nini god's power mm-hmm. so tumefika kwa kanisa and it was a, a, a midweek service mm-hmm. and the man of god after mm-hmm. akasema 
e, kuna grace ya healing mtu akujaguza mikono yangu mm. and then Mungu atakuonya mm-hmm. and t- my husband was like sweet enda enda mm. enda today is your day i went nikatap mikono mm. but you know with the mentality of yeah, Kenya yeah. i expected him to like paka kaka kaya and well, down sure. and like you know <laughs> But this this one thing that I felt rosy mm-hmm. that I will never forget kulikuwa mm-hmm. na like breeze nikawa kuna mtu alipuliza nikasikia kuna breeze fulani mm-hmm. paka na kuza my husband wewe unasikia mm-hmm. ni kama kuna baridi like mm-hmm. nikao yeye yeah, understand lakini kwangu mimi mwenyewe nilisikia kuna kitu ambacho kimenivisit mm-hmm. ambacho singe sita kawaida mm-hmm. and that that thing mm-hmm. because I believe it was the power of healing ambayo nili encounter mm-hmm. ikafanya ni kuwe mtu mwingine alikuwa ndani yangu inje nilikuwa naonekana sina but nika gain strength immediately mm-hmm. i remember going home nilikuwa na conference i will not die Oh, I will live to declare the goodness of the Lord because mm. I remember that is the word about the man of God and Sema akituambia wale watu walikuwa wasika na sema you will be so I started confessing the word yes. from that moment mm-hmm. ikawa kila siku nikiamka hata nikishetani akinihubiria maana bado walikuwa wananihubiria mm. nilikuwa namwambia shetani mimi nitaishi watu walikuwa wengi ambao wana testify about eh. kuponya ukimwi eh. lakini mimi nita testify I made a covenant with God my deliverance was and i i say to myself and i told my husband mm-hmm. i will not go for checkup mhm sitaenda kwa checkup kwa sababu mm-hmm. sitaki wewe uoga wacha ikuje automatically oh. so we went now the time of giving birth mm-hmm. in mexico mm-hmm. and we went mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a good part mm-hmm. tumeenda usiku ruzi mhm uh, getman akakataa kutungulia gate kwa nini akasema kwa sababu watu na kadi you know in oh. uchumi kushika mm-hmm. tumeacha kadi tume taxi from na ni mm-hmm. jirani wangu anaitwa baba kevo mungu ambariki sana wewe mzaiishi sana yeah. amechukulia yeah. taxi tu na akatupeleka mm-hmm. tumefika tu kwa gate hivi mm-hmm. the gate man kama shetani akamtumia akakataa mpaka mimi muingie the husband is like she's she's in labor wacha tu aingie si twende akasema hapana ikabidi turudi wote tukae mpaka mpaka 5 asubuhi mm-hmm. tukatoka na giza i remember mm-hmm. the mtu nilikuwa nimevaa ka stocking mm-hmm. na na nguo yangu tu ya ya, ya hivyo hivyo tu ndio nilitoka mm-hmm. tumefika hospitalini mm-hmm. the same same god i mm-hmm. make sure the same same nurse that was still on walikuwa on duty ni yule mwenye alikuwa ile school aliniambia niko yes. hiv oh. and then the guy alikuwa anaitwa martin walamu ndio wako hata hiyo siku Yeah. nimeingia mm-hmm. nimeadmitiwa mm-hmm. nilikuwa kitanda nikambua mbele disease is your bed mm-hmm. and mtu anapelekagwa and you know now your hiv there is a way you are treated yeah. in special care mm-hmm. ndio usikutane na you know eh sasa nimepewa kitanda nimekelea vitu zangu vizuri bag yangu na kila kitu mm-hmm. then nika push my husband back kwa gate mm-hmm. kwa sababu nilikuwa nimetulia mazoea ukitembea sana mtu sote atakuja yeah. but nikamwachia husband yangu kwa gate mm-hmm. nikirudi mm-hmm. siku kuja nikaingia kwenye kwenye you know ukiadimitiwa there is a place unaenda unapewa nguo na chechu mm-hmm. na bango za hospital mm-hmm. so mimi nilienda nika nikaanza kuzunguka nje mm-hmm. nikaanza kuzunguka kitchen ya St Francis at that time watu ambao wanakumbuka in uh, the year 2005 mm-hmm. kulikuwa na dispensary tu peke yake ndio ilikuwa St Francis ilikuwa tu dispensary and then ka block kamoja ndio kulikuwa maternity wa mama mm-hmm. and then uh, kitchen kadogo hapo mm-hmm. so hiyo time hukukuwa na ile hospitali tunaona sasa hizi kwangu mimi yako ka kitchen mm-hmm. ndio ilikuwa the last deliverance yangu i remember i used to zunguka rose wow. you are you aunda hapo ungekuwa mm-hmm. umefika hapo ungekuwa na understand uchungi kikuja tu niko hapo like I, mm-hmm. I, I, i used to tell god wewe mm-hmm. mungu mm-hmm. wangu utakuja leo mm-hmm. mungu usikubali hawa watu wakose kukuona mm-hmm. because rose nilikuwa nimefika ama daktari wamenipa ile dawa mm-hmm. nimeshaikata mm-hmm. the nurses are melody mm-hmm. lazima kunywe hii dawa mm-hmm. unaki tuli agree Usipokunywa dawa utanyonyesha mtoto. Mimi naambia vizuri, mimi mm. nitanyonyesha mtoto. Mm. Na utamnyonyeshaje na hujakunywa dawa? Naambia mimi nimeshapona. Wow. And the sarcastic laugh ambayo ilitoka kwa wao daktari. Hata arabu baka wanaitana. You know mm. what they are saying? Hebu kujeni huyu, mtu akiwa na uchungu wa mtoto afanye mamangu anakuwaka. Melody, hebu kunywa hii dawa. Nika wakaona niko serious, mm. wakaita mpaka daktari mkubwa. Mm-hmm. Sister mkubwa akakuja akanipendeleza. Akanambia Melody, mm. rajua uchungu wa mtoto. Mm. Wa mama akiwa na uchungu vile wanakuwaka. Sema hii ni kunipendeleza niongee. Mm. Nikaambia mama nikaambia tafadhali mimi mm. Yesu amenipona. Ulipata Yesu wapi? Mlikuta naye wapi? Hatukutana naye lakini niliombewa. Kanisa za Nairobi zina uongo melody. Nani alikuombea? Uliahikishwa umepona. Nikaombe sijahikisha lakini ndani yangu mimi ninajua, ninajua nimepona. Kaniambia msema kweli ni damu, damu mm-hmm. ikachukuliwa. Mhm. Walipoichukua damu nimerudi kwa kitchen yangu. Mm-hmm. Nimezunguka kitchen, nimezunguka. Mhm. The same same guy mwenye alichukua damu. Mm-hmm. Na kukakuwa na commotion ya yeah. mm-hmm. to groups of nurses. You know, 
kuna na wanaongea alafu wanakuangalia mm. sasa kina yangu kuna kitu naniambia mm. labda wamechukua hii damu wakaenda wakapata mm. ni 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 sijapona mm. sasa wanashindwa huyu tutamwa approach hadi ndani yangu ndani nasikia kitu inaniambia with a strong in me mm. focus mm. endelee kuwa na faith usijaribu kitu yote ilete usi don't faith yo don't fear don't mm. have fear mm. faith yo hiyo fear uko nayo jaribu kui faith mm. ni na faith na faith fear <laughs> I was feeling my fears wow. without understanding God was preparing something. Mm. And now Rosie kaenda ikafika mahali. Mm. Uja maka kujia damu mara ya pili. Mm. Hapa uchungu uko. Kaka kaka. Hasa ikafika place mm-hmm. because of how nimesimbona na madaktari yeah. nikiwaambia nimepona. Mm. Mimi kwenda kuambia it is now time to give birth. Mm. Wakanichukulia bado nzaa. So nimeingia bado nakumbuka niko na kangu kama kusikia eh, tenge. Eh. Nimepata nasi na mwambia mm. ni time ya kupata mtoto. Mm. Nas anacheka. Mm. Bado tumeona wa mama wengi. Bora <laughs> zaje kuombe fika sasa hata hujatenge kwa unataka wana kuzaa nikamwambia sasa mtanifuata mm. because it is now time. Mm, mm. So nilipoingia kwenye labor mm. labor ile ya kujifungua mtoto mm. niliingia na nikajipandisha kitandani mwenyewe mm-hmm. and nikapush mtoto. Mm-hmm. So mtoto alipokuwa anatoka the guy that mm-hmm. alikuwa anaosha huko ndio alikimbia mbio kwenda kuambia nurses. Mm-hmm. Oh, huyo mama kwa huko already mtoto ameshaji. Ule mwenye alikuwa the first nurse. Mm-hmm. I I I believe aku amevaa ameva gloves. Mm-hmm. Hata kama alivaa gloves, alivaa gloves bado huko ana <laughs> anashikilia mtoto. Mm-hmm. So I delivered my my girl. Mm-hmm. For the glory of God nilipata mtoto wangu mnome. Wow. In, in a very good way. I'm mm. singing understand. Mm. Venye Mungu alipatia nguvu hata kutapitia mm. hiyo shida yote. Mm. Mungu alipatia nguvu na kupata mtoto wangu vizuri. Mm. Na baada ya kupata mtoto. Mm. Ba daktari hawa mkuja wamepata mtoto amepata. Nimepata mtoto you, now you, you, you are you getting the picture yes. because of the condition that mm. I was in. Yeah. Lazima ongeingia bafu wa ove yeah. because of our attack of contamination you understand and everything that you am to wangu nimepelekwa kwa kitanda mm-hmm. now sasa hapo ndo nilivaa nguo zile za hospital mm-hmm. so nimepelekwa kwenye kwenye bed yangu kwa ward mm-hmm. and everybody is looking at me like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wewe umekuja je wewe msi tumekaa kwa 3 days atujapata watoto mimi nimeingia na mtoto wangu mm-hmm. na kwa baraka za Mungu maziwa yangu haitekingi time mm-hmm. so wakati mtoto alilia i breast mm-hmm. fed them the mtoto mm-hmm. without kujua the result Now Rosie this is a good part. Yes. My husband have put. Mhm. Ameingia tu hivi amepata mikono mtoto na celebrate mtoto. Mm-hmm. Then people with cameras like these cameras na wengine wazungu mm-hmm. ambao walikuwa wametoka Igiz Israel walikuwa wamekuja kuvisit the, the hospital because you know skill kwa missionary hospital. Yes. Wameingia and uh, they are like eh, Melody. Mhm. Ah uh, tumesikia we have heard that you met with Jesus. Mhm and I'm like eh una bio si Jesus ni mimi eh kwa sababu wamekuja na ni wazungu na wananiuliza and then sina result sijaambiwa venye condition yangu iko mimi natumia faith hata kunyonyesha mtoto wangu bado ni faith inafanya kazi so aliposema hivyo ndo this this man this man waited for that long ni anaitwa Martin Martin akakuja akani display ya my my result akasema melody we tested and tulipopima result zako zote zimekuja negative and then uh, akiongea the the nurse huyo mkubwa huyo not the nurse na daktari mkubwa ambaye amesimamia hospital hiyo mm. akasema eh, medically we don't understand this mm-hmm. it has never happened hatujawahi kuwa na mtu tujawahi kuwa na kitu kama hii hii ni ile kitu ambayo tu ya ya hataki kutestify hey, aseme kwamba hey, hey. ni Yesu amefanya hii. Na kwanza mm. unasikia ni sister mm. mwenye amekataki hataki kutestify aseme ni Yesu amefanya. Mm. Lakini wao wanaangalia scientifically mm. hii ni virus ambayo haijawahi ponwa. Hey. So akasema sisi hatu understand huyo Mungu wako venye alifanya mm. but sisi tumekuja kukwambia kwamba umepona. Kwenye ulikuwa unasema ile it happened mm. for the glory of god it was our day of celebration mm. it was a day of mixed emotions mm. siko anajua kama ni kucheka mm. ni kulia ni kuscream ni kupiga mm. watu simu mm. ni kusema nini mm. but i remember we held hands with my husband we cried wow. we prayed mm. and god am equally lifted all through wow. amen how did it feel sasa umepewa results uko negative How did it feel? Uliona <laughs> sasa kama unaanza kuishi tena ama what was your first response? The funny thing mm. I started living the, the day ambayo niliondoa. Oh. When I went back, sina kwambia hapo ndo the pictures za za, za kifo. Eh. The, the, you know I used to have casket like nona mm. kabisa casket. Mm. Naanza kuimagine kwetu sasa na mpaka naanza kufikiria nitazikwa kwa kina my husband mm. ama nitazikwa kwetu. Mm. Naanza kuimagine venye watu wetu watalia, my venye my dad ata feel and then naanza kuimagine the shame that will come upon my father mm. mtoto wa pasta amekuwa eh, na hiv eh, are you getting me sasa nilikuwa na kanizo kutuzoni 
the moment niliombewa tu hivi mm. hizo pictures zilianza kutoka pole pole wow. nilia, my living ilianza ile siku yenye that man of god held my hand so living yangu ilianzia hapo so hata waliponiambia ndio mm. maana nakwambia nilikuwa na mix emotions mm. nilikuwa nashindwa nilie mm. nicheke mm. nipigie watu simu mm. ni scream ni seme nini mm. and then sasa hapo ilikuwa ilikuwa joy kwangu mm. but joy ambayo sasa imeingia fear yangu kubwa mm. nilipromise nitakwambia ukinipona ita testify mm-hmm. now with this Kenya that kila mtu akisikia man of god alifanya yeah. kila mtu ana christi tai mm. and you know the one thing mm-hmm. the reason why i have the song that is called godoro yeah because Ten years. Ten years. Because mm. this testimony sasa leo ni the seventh year na testify. Wow. Nilikuwa nimenyamazia. Mm. I, I, I served God. Mm. Nikajikommit kwa Mungu. In mm. fact, nikajikommit. Because nasikia nilikuwa natembelea grace ya baba yangu. Eh. Now nika fix life yangu na nikamwambia sasa Yesu nataka mm. mimi. It's As men of mm. mimi na wewe. Mm. I started serving. Mm-hmm. I have served under servants of God like Reverend Tugu wa Moyo. Mm. I have served. Mm-hmm. But serving in that altar. Mm. Hizo miaka zote. Serving under Bishop Sam is always my vision. Mm. Miaka zote nilikuwa nimeko Watu wana testify lakini niko nayo ndani yangu sisi mimi na my husband tunajua na watu kadhaa wani walikuwa wamejua mm. nimenyamazia mm. but god one time mm. kila mtu anakuwa na time yake ya encounter okay. apostle moses moses was preaching in coma mm. mm-hmm. at calvary calvary ya uh, coma mm-hmm. akaniita tu wenye ananitaga tu akaniambia mimi mm. ndo preach place fulani mm. kama muimbe mm. mimi nimeenda kuimba mm. and then ame ana preach ile kitu wenye ana preach mm-hmm. ni kitu wenye sijawahi sikia mm. all my life mm-hmm. the man that waited on the well for 38 years yes. everybody alikuwa anaongea about perseverance mm. the years of waiting yes hakuna mtu mwenye nishaisikia kiongea about the mat mm. now this man of god has come with another nini ya kusema mm-hmm. hakuna mtu anakoncentrating na hii mat hii mat kwa nini yesu akimwambia nyanyua godoro enda zako wow. pick up your mat and go oh, why the mat oh, and then God. the the gospel ikatana kasema mm. the mat is a, is a mark of remembrance mm. that any time this man of god atasahau kile ambacho Mungu alimfanyia mm. akiangalia hii mat mm. atakumbuka and then his account za tuswali kwa service akasema ni nini hiyo Mungu alikufanyia umeishi na hiyo mat lakini ukiangalia mm. ujawahi testify ah, ah it was now nimemulikwa nikasikia roho mtakatifu ameniambia mm. method now is the time mm nikasileiwa i remember nilikuwa naamka na shindwa kuliendaje mm. because now that is the time ambao Mungu alileta the song godoro mm-hmm. and then nimeenda nyumbani the same song godoro ikaanza kuimba kwa kichwa mm-hmm. the part ambayo inasema sitasau liko nitoa mm-hmm. as many should yeah, that part yes. and sasa baada usiku rozi nilikuwa kwa balcony mm-hmm. kitu inanisumbui na niambia you have to testify mm-hmm. and i remember the first time i testified nilikuwa nimeenda kwa sababu ya something that was totally different mm-hmm. i was going to talk about uh, my foundation aboy ni togodoro yes nimeenda kuongelea godoro mm-hmm. nimekat ni on set mm-hmm. ili vinyeni on set mm-hmm. and then the host akaniuliza mm-hmm. ni encouragement gani unaweza encourage nayo mtazamaji mm-hmm. ambao kitu ambao Mungu amekufanyia kubwa holy spirit said now is this that oh time aboy inakuja anakuambia ukiwa on air <laughs> and my first time I'm only testify to testify on air kwa QTV. Mm. And that was the beginning of my journey of testimony wow. until today. Wow. And you still testify. I will testify. I will testify until Jesus comes. No wonder you said I will not die. I will I live. Will Ooh, I will live. Oh my god. I will live. I will live to testify Rosie and mm. this is this is one of the encouragement I want to give watu. Yes. Let, let let this be. Let e kitu iwe 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 ni wakati ambao tuliokoka mm. tuwa fresh mm. kwa ukovu mm. mtu angepata hata jag yes. you believe god for a jag mm. akoheja 
you go and test you unasema oh, nilipata eh. you believe lakini kuna mahali nafika mm. it's like tuna tunakuwa machua mm-hmm. tunajiambia sisi yani kwa moyo mtu anajifanyaga unajiona umekuwa machua siezi testify to next na bon nimezapata ni laptop mm. ningezapata gari mm. nimeza unaona nina ni deserve kuwa nayo eh. si Mungu aliona nimegoro nimemachua eh. kuna mahali nimefika testimony zimeachwa and you know those charges mpaka sasa hizi wanafanya they, they start testimony time mm. others wanaita segment hiyo mm. testimony time mm. it is a part of encouragement because mimi tangu nianze ku testify mm. rozi a lot of people mm. about the encourage mm. i can count how many people wame nipigia simu na kwambia nilikuwa nimechukua kamba mm. enda kujua oh. because my husband alipojua niko hiv mm. ameniambia mm. nipake kila kitu and because i cannot be accepted in my family yes. nikaona the best ni lini kujua peke yake and see the videos a story because kuna watu ambao wanakuambia story mm. there is a family that alikumama alikuwa mpe watoto dawa mm, wakunyo wa, wakunyo tayari kuna watu ambao god anawaleta hata hii testimony yangu sasa kutoka kwa, kwa account yako mm. kuna mtu Mungu ata direct tu apate kwa account yako tu hivi mm. wafungue mm. ikuwe tu ndio so usijaribu kufungia testimony ambayo uko nayo because god anatumia hiyo testimony kwa sababu ya kusema mtu mwingine mm. wa kesho mm. kwa hivyo testimony yako ukitoa mtu mwingine atafaidika kupitia hiyo testimony wow. wow. yani nasikia tu ni kama <laughs> Unje na relate sana na story yako ukisema about when you ulikuwa unakunywa dawa unatapika mm. mm. I also have a story I went through sexual abuse mm. and in uh, it's a protocol kupewa hizo dawa za mm. prevent mm. Yes, yes, yes. so I had a tough time oh a tough time unakunywa dawa unatapika I know there's something wo. behind this this beauty this ah. there's a story <laughs> Wow, glory to Jesus. So wow. I totally understand you yeah. and I thank God that you are healed. Amen. Cuz I had that fear of oh my God. Mm. Sasa nikipata ukimya oh, yeah, love, you know. I know, I know. So I totally feel so blessed by your testimony. Amen. And najua kuna watu wengi sana wamekusikiza hii story na mm. wanaweza kuwa na swali moja. Mm. Melody, mimi nataka kukuongelesha <laughs> nikupate wapi? Uh, I uh, most of the time people are share number but me yes. share number because mm. um out of testimony kuna hiyo yeah. Godoro Foundation ambayo ilikuwa inaanza ikiwa ya kusaidia mm. young girls mm. wapatie sanitary because of my bringing this a covenant that made with God mm. ya kwamba ile siku utanibariki na mimi nita give to the community yes. but God has used the same platform mm. to reach the people with HIV wow. and i realize most of the time napatia na social media mm. and kuna watu ambao hawaizi fikia social media eh, eh. kuna watu ambao wanataka namba ya simu kwa sababu mm. watu ambao wako na stigma mm. kama vile nilikuwa eh. hawataki kuongea kwa watu okay. wanataka one on one yes and uh, that is why i give my number my number is 0724 mm-hmm. 6065 mm-hmm. 0724 6 0065 mm-hmm. kwa sababu na kama uko out of the country mm-hmm. unaweza pinga na plus 25 okay. 254 mm-hmm. once na plus 254 mm-hmm. and then kuna wale watu ambao wako kwenye social media unaweza nifikia all my accounts mm-hmm. na enda ngana kina melody ndichu mm-hmm. melody ndichu page yangu tu moja ndio ni kupasta melody ndicho lakini page zote kina kina Instagram at mm-hmm. Melody Ndicho mm-hmm. zote ni kwa Melody Ndicho amazing yes. na je testimony it has a testimony zingine eh uh, baby inasema one testimony begets another Very true. so i look forward to hearing people testifying amen. from this you know amen amen nimebarikiwa sana amen glory to god asante for your time thank you for hata kwa kupata courage ya ku speak up because mm. najua sio rahisi sio rahisi eh. but there is one thing that i say mm. he was not ashamed Ah uh, yes. When he carried this shame, mm-hmm. I to mm. Why should I be ashamed of testifying uh, of his goodness? Yes. So I will testify Rosie. Let mm. us continue to testify. Even you as it yes. is an encouragement for another girl. Yes, yes. This this foundation that I na mm. Godoro. Mm. Mm. I always look for people like you because mm. there are those rescue homes about mm. unaenda unapata watoto mm. ambao mimi niko na yangu ya ukimu. Mm. Ule mtoto alipitia hiyo 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 ambao ulipitia. Anataka mm. mtu ambaye anaweza mwambia nilipitia mm. alikatoka. So I see myself carrying you next time. Please I'm ready any day any time. Wow. <laughs> Asante sana. Karibu sana. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that was a heavy testimony. That was a deep inspiration and I, all I can see from this is beauty for ashes. Sometimes I like to see myself as the ambassador of beauty for ashes. The scripture that says Isaiah is it 61 or 63? Verse 3 to give unto them mm-hmm. beauty for ashes. So if you have a beauty for ashes story or you look forward to having a beauty for ashes story, have faith and uh Pastor Melody here has testified 
and akasema imani yake ndio ilimpea that healing so keep on holding on and i believe ata wewe you'll have a different story mungu si muongo na mungu si mwanadamu hadangani kweli so thank you so much for watching be sure to listen to pastor melody's songs i tell you they are anointed and, and very blessed uh, blessing and i pray that uh, atoki skiza they're going to minister to you no, subscribe yeah. yes Find and please subscribe channel. i'll put a link in the description yeah. you can go subscribe listen to those songs and i believe they'll bless you Amen. thank you for watching and until next time i was your host rosita hosting pastor melody in the church and see you again bye bye guys <laughs>